Greetings, it's Tracy from Zombie Crafter again with, a, with another video. Uh, and today I'm d doing part one of a video on how to convert a blanket pattern into a wrap cardigan pattern. And to begin with, I just wanted to show you where my source is from. I have been doing patterns recently by Shelby Shea, whose link will be in the description box below to her Ravelry page or wherever. And some of these are her designs that I have done. And the good thing about Shelby's patterns is that she has regular parts of the pattern where there is rows of single crochet, which is ideal for converting into a cardigan because this is places that you can put the armholes for a cardigan. So I'll just move these out the way. And I will show you the first step. Now, this is the most recent one that I've been helping to test for Shelby. And this one's called the Retro Roo, which will be out soon. And this is part one and the first repeat. Um, and I've done this to see how big it would come out. This has been done with Mandala yarn in the Warlock colorway. As you can see the colors with a five millimeter hook. So it's a little bit squishier, so more comfortable for a jumper. This part uh, measures 47 centimeters across. It is unblocked, so it will gain a little bit when it's been blocked. Then the next thing I do is I get a favorite jacket and get measurements off it, which I have done here. Move that out of the way so you can see. And the first measurement we need is across the top of the shoulder. And on my jacket, which is comfortable, is 50 centimetres, which is very close to the width of this block. So I am going to stop here and I will be taking off the very last row because making the armholes is about the same height in stitches as the last row. And then I got the next measurement, which is from the top of the shoulder to where the arm leaves the part of the body. And that was 32 centimetres. So I'm going to turn this around so it's the right way. This will be my neck edge. So these two here are where my arms will come out. So I've measured 32 centimetres on both sides, put a marker. What I will do is I will undo back to here and then I will foundation single crochet the same amount of stitches and then rejoin just before the increased stitch on the top corner. Do the normal stitches along here, do the increased stitch here and then the next stitch I will do foundation single crochet down to this marker and then finish off the row and join again. You don't want to put your join within the armholes, you want it separate. Also, I found out that the repeat is four and a half inches wide, which is uh, 12 centimeters. So I measured my jacket, and I haven't marked it on here, but from the top of the shoulder to the bottom is 77 centimeters. And that is five to six repeats worth. So that's how many more I will do before the body of the jacket is ready. So on part two, we will come back and I will have the armholes in and the body will be done. And I hope to see you there. So if you want to catch up with it, please like and subscribe and you'll get a notification when the next one's due. Thank you. We'll see you next time.